Oh, this got the wedding. When did they stop the wedding band in '66? November '65. So why did I wonder why they stopped manufacturing early problems? Early 66, huh? I was telling uh, one of the fellows, the Corvair guys. He says what? He didn't know. Huh? I said I've known that forever. Oh, and oh, here's a question to ask you. Here's a question to ask you. The blue daub on the oil filter. That was '65. They had, it was a recall where it had to retorque the heads. R that's what I thought. Yeah. You know how many guys have asked about that and they say what? Really? One guy even had a blue one there. He says, I said, what's that? He says, I don't know. They spilled some blue paint on it. Oh. A cor guy selling Corvair parts didn't know that the blue dog meant they retorqued the head gaskets. Yeah. And I remember seeing that years and years yeah. and years ago. Yeah. Funny, oh, huh? Well, that meant they did yeah, it just that. meant they did it. Yeah. It had been a, an affected repair. So where did they get the blue paint? GM sent them bottles of blue paint. I don't know. Zob on blue paint. Because it all looks the same. Or maybe that was done at the factory before the cars no, left no, on the they, transport. It was a dealer thing. They had to do them in the dealer. Just, six, was the, just 1965? Early yeah, just 65. Really? Yeah. I don't remember the number. I got the, the there's a you know, bullet thing on it. Oh, this is a beautiful car. How are you going to fix that? It needs a... I don't know. I don't know if a... I don't know if a... It is a customer's car, but... Yeah, that's... It's kind of here being stored for right now. Is it the Actually, space? Pisser, my body guy in yeah. upstate New York, he's the guy to fix this. Yeah. But it's and a I, little I'm ways sure away. I'm it can be fixed. But yeah, but it, you can't hammer this out. It's, oh, too, no, it's, it's too, bad. Mush too bad. But the right guy will cut a used one. Yeah. The yeah. right guy. Yeah. He did my uh, Suburban in the back, my 84, the one yeah. that I... My, he flanged it. He bought a flanging tool wow. that dimples it slightly. It's just 100 bucks. Yeah. So when you put the two pieces, one overlaps the other mm -hmm. slightly. Yeah. And he just did a great job. What did they do? Crash into something? Or something? Yeah, it's, I can't remember what happened. It's run into a tree. It's a nice car. Yeah, this is bad. Must be a low miles car, I'm guessing. Yeah. 60,000? I don't know. It's, it runs good. It's, that's got a leak of transmission. I got to fix the mechanics of that. We need to cut this off. Right yeah. I'm going to peek inside. Oh, this is a nice, nice, nice car. 30,000 miles, possibly? I don't believe that. 130? I don't know. That's pretty good for that. Yeah, it's a nice, nice car. It's a nice car. My mother had a 63, 700, I think. Dually. Regular cab. There's one of these in the junkyard in um, Durango. Silver with a blue inside, all wow. there. Shows 40,000 on it. Rush free on the bump of Southern California automobile form. The yeah, this is a little old lady car. Uh, a little bit of rust. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Everything's all the way. Right. But the thing is rust free. It's got tinted glass. Yeah. Nice 63 interior. Not the right interior, but it sure looks good. Yeah. Beautiful. Corvairs and soybeans. They both grow really well here. Stone and rock. Lonnie Short and Stonehenge Rock Group. Dave and Bob. drive Corvair. <laughs> it's got a blazer frame. Wow. Is this a Ford or is it an international or a Ford? It's got a Buick engine in it. But what's the frame? A Jeep. Yeah. Huh. With a Buick engine. A guy in Chicago brought in a Camaro, late 70s Camaro, to scrap. Yeah. You know what kind of motor was in it? Flathead Ford. Wow. Running. Running Flathead Ford in a Camaro. Anyways, they scrapped it. Huh. Off it went. Wow. Is that crazy? Who'd put a Flathead Ford anyway? That's my buddy. Exhaust system's all been bent up for it. Ready to go. A little press wood there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know about it. The guy ran into a tree with it. That's why he ran into it. Well, it happens when you're plowing because you're going back and forth. I did it. I hit my barn. You go back and forth, back and forth. You stop looking backwards. You just look in the mirror for a second. If ever you plowed, you know what it's like. It's just the same thing over and over and over. Have you had to do any plowing yet? Have you had any snow? No, no, no. Uh-oh. 
I got some customers here. Just latched onto me. I knew it. Shouldn't have walked there. Nope, no snow. We haven't hit by the storm yet. Yeah, the sliders are a pain. You gotta maintain them. Then you could have an option. You every now and then you see a slider. Even in the new body styles, you still get the sliders. The slider's good in a confined space. Yeah. But they're also troublesome. Do they just slide? Just no. Well, they make the, they still make a full size van, but it's they're more rounded in the tail like they're up here on the side. Those are the Okay. Oh yeah. So when's the end of this style? Ninety six. Ninety six. Ninety six could be in late early or late. That's when they did the transition. They call it a classic. Yeah. Like the Malibu Malibu classic. Technically, 95 was probably the last, but they did sell a few titles in 96s, and then they went to the new one. Thank you. I didn't want to slam your truck. No, <laughs> you, you could slam it. Yeah. Well, I just want the door shut. No, I know, I know, I know, I know, but great. don't want to abuse your merchandise. 500. Oh, this is uh, Mrs. Door yeah, door Three pillar. 240. But the door pillar is gone, huh? Yeah, no, no. Power glide needs a little welding. Yeah, I think this convertible is a little bit too far gone. <laughs> that baby's really gone. Yeah. I saw a guy at a car show with a Mustang convertible, 65 or so. Yeah. And he showed me pictures of what it looked like before he fixed it. Same as that. Oh, you got to What's there to fix? It ends up just being a, a brand new panelized. Yeah. Because they make all the new panels for 57 Chevy, 69 Camaros. Oh, it's got a little dimple here for the tailpipe. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna go with uh, dual exhaust on this or single exhaust. I think of the dual exhaust maybe. GMC Rally STX 90, what, 91. We're taking up my man's time. It's not fair. Just so having so much fun. Powered by Chevrolet. Yeah, just a driving block. AM never had a hitch on this cover. Bolted shut. Is that stupid or what? And there's my ramp side. My tailgates, or ramps rather. Two extra parts in here. They look like a big 